the high point. High point. Oh. Um, I know what would have been the high point. It would have been special to find the kever. It came with a picture of a kever of my great-grandfather after whom I am named. And I kind of walked in with my fingers crossed saying, wow, maybe we'll able to actually be find this grave of Shraga Shmuel. Ben Svi. Ben Svi, right. And um, that would have been the high point, but that, I think just, just being here and, and saying, gosh, I'm really in Poland and standing on the ground on the, uh, on the, on the soil of Poland, which is, was so um, rich in Jewish history and soaked with the blood of Jewish history. So here we are at the Warsaw Cemetery, the Jewish Cemetery in Warsaw, and Abba wants to talk to someone who hopefully will help us find out where his great-grandfather is buried. Abba, what's that picture? This is the kever of Shmuel, Shraga Shmuel Yanushevsky who is my great-grandfather, my grandmother's father, who is supposed to be here in the cemetery somewhere. Because I'm named after Shraga. Mm. And what I didn't know, this is very interesting, this is really interesting. Wait, who are the two people in the picture? I have no idea. Oh, really? No oh. idea whatsoever. No. But my name is Shraga Tzvi. Okay. So the Shraga comes from my mother's side. This is my mother's grandfather. Mm -hmm. Tzvi is my father's father, the Hebrew name Tzvi. But I'm looking now, I see Shraga, Shraga Shmuel, which is my great-grandfather, is the son of Tzvi. So this Tzvi is also in here. Look at that. Look at me. <laughs> I'm looking. So what did the caretaker tell you? That he already has documented 90,000 graves. Wow. He's going little, you know, painstakingly day by day and recording them into a big computer database. Wow. This one is not in the database yet. Mm. So either it hasn't been found or it doesn't exist. Uh, no, some were destroyed for this or that. Thousands and thousands and thousands of bodies were buried here. Aye. They put, they would play some sand, some lime, another layer, and such. Those are the day markers. after day, day after day. Of the mass grave of, of the, the Jews. Well? Yes. You know, and then there's a typical for mass Who grave died. when bodies Killed. begin to disintegrate. Everything in sinks down. Ghetto. So it's in case. Close to my face. I, know, I think it's the same, but here in Polish it says, when I say in English, here are buried victims from the Warsaw Ghetto 1941 43, let their souls be bound up in the bond of everlasting life. Right, the same thing in Hebrew. Wow. Uh, one of only two sewer. Holes in the cemetery that were used to smuggle and to escape. Wow. And it's still used, it sounds like. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that Can you tell us uh, the, what's the story again? Where are we? I've just, for, I've just forgotten the name of the family, starting with K. There was a whole family, Jewish family, hiding in a grave at this Jewish cemetery in Warsaw for more than a year. And they survived. And they survived, wow. luckily. Tau Hashem. Wow, that is something. Let's go. All of each chicken Natsiv are waiting. We're going to visit the graves of the Natsiv and the Brisker Rebbe. Here we are, Oel Velazhin Brisk. This is where the Natsiv and the Brisker Rebbe. Very. 
Yeah, Here's Korchak a memorial for Janusz Korczak. He ran the orphanage here in Warsaw, and he's the one who walked with all of the children from the orphanage to the trains at Umschlagplatz and straight to Treblinka.